So our game is working and we have health and we have, um, uh, and we can kill enemies and we can survive or whatever. So in its most basic sense, it's working. However, when we play the game, um, I have no idea how much health I have. I have no idea how uh, long we've survived, and I don't know how many enemies I've killed. And we also have no way of, like, restarting the game or having a start menu or anything like that, right? So we're not giving the, the user any sort of information. So we're going to add a HUD, right, or a heads-up display uh, for the, the player so that they can see, you know, what's going on. So this video, we're just going to set up the actual UI elements, and then from there, we'll do everything else. Now... Um, what we have to do is actually make the canvas first because there's already a canvas inside of this um, first person controller. There's actually the player camera. Uh, maybe it's underneath that one. This crosshair is in. Uh, there you go. Yeah, this is actually a canvas, this crosshair and stamina thing. So um, we have to make a, a canvas first and then we can put on our UI elements, okay? Which is pretty common. We'll have to actually make a couple of UIs because we'll have to make one for um the start screen and all that but it'll basically be the same process we did for uh the platform the game so that won't be any different but let's just get the one for the playing of the game and then we'll do the other stuff so we're just going to go up here and we're going to go um uh let's see uh ui and then we're going to create a canvas and then we will just name this let's name it um uh hud oops, hud underscore canvas uh, let's go cut canvas like that. Okay, so this will just be our heads up canvas, and we're just going to attach all of the UI stuff that's for that um, right here. Right. So uh, let's go ahead and add uh, some really basic things. So I want to have something that says how much time has passed and how many enemies I've killed. So that's going to be easy. Just have that selected first so it knows where to apply them. I don't know why I went to file. I'm going to go over here. We're going to go UI, and I'm just going to do text. And we'll just call this, um, we'll call this, uh, let me see, uh, timer text. Okay. And then, uh, since I, uh, and we'll do that again, we'll do another one too. So select this again and again, create, um, UI text and we'll call this, um, enemies text like so. Okay. All right, so we have uh, timer text and enemies text. Let's take timer text. We'll put that in the top left. So with that selected, I'm going to go over here and click on this. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift, and I'm going I'm to snap it to the top left. There we go. And then we're just going to push it off from there. So let's take position Y, and let's say about 100 is fine. Let's say we do 100, and then uh, on position X, and then Y, we need to go down. So let's go down, let's say minus 50. So we'll do 100 from the left and down 50. That looks fine. I'm going to change the width and the height just for the bounding box so that way the text can be bigger. So for width, I'm just going to do 500, which is way over. And then we'll also do 100, which is also way over. Um, let's just go ahead and put the initial text in here. And we're just going to say um, time alive. And we'll just put zero. Okay, so it's just going to say time alive, yada, yada, yada. Uh, now, I don't have any special fonts in here, so what you'd want to do is go online. You can go to defont.com, and then I would just add a, uh, uh, you know, right-click, add a new folder, call it, like, text or fonts or whatever, and then um, you'd be able to put a different font in there. I'm just going to leave with Arial because I don't want to do the whole process, but we've, we've done that before. I'm going to choose bold, though, so I can see a little bit easier. Um, I'm also going to change my font size, say 36. That's way too big. Let's say 24. That's a little bit better. So I'm going to say 24. Um, we're going to leave out and left aligned. That looks fine. Uh, I'm going to change the color uh, to something a little bit easier to read. So let's just do white. And then I'm going to add a shadow component. So we're going to hit that. And then I'm just going to write shadow, shadow. Yeah, shadow. And this will actually add a little bit of a shadow there. And I'm going to leave the defaults for now. That's fine. I might need to adjust it. But uh, by having the shadow, it just makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay. Let's grab the other one. Click on this. And I'm going to do the exact same stuff, but just the opposite. Click on this. Alt-Shift. I'm going to click on the top right. Okay. Um, and we're going to do uh, minus 100. Because I want to go from, this is going to be pushing it this way. Uh, and then, again, minus 50 here. So it goes down. And same thing here. 500 by 100 um and then uh we're gonna say um enemies k 
killed and zero. Okay. Uh, again, we're going to keep Ariel. I'll do bold. We're going to make it 24. Uh, you'll notice that it's right here, and that's because it's being left aligned. So we want to switch this actually to right aligned. So it's it's going to align to the right side. This one's aligned to the left, and then they both kind of feed inwards. Uh, change the color here, and I'm just going to again make it white. Boop. Okay. I would highly, highly suggest you know going through and making all these nicer for your own because I'm just doing really generic. This looks super generic. Doesn't look that great. Again, I'm going to add another shadow component, and I'm going to leave it with the defaults. Uh, that looks fine. So this will tell me how much time I have a lot, or how I've been, long I've been alive, and um, the enemies uh, that I've killed. Okay, so this will keep track of that, and this will keep track of that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but I do need health, right? So that's what I'm going to add next. Now, I could, which would be easier, is actually just have text and write the health. But usually when you see health, they usually give you a health bar. So that's what we're going to make this time. And we're actually going to use a UI element to do it. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to select the canvas here. Click on this. We're going to go UI. And then we're going to go slider. And you're going to see the slider right here. Uh, and we'll just call this um, the health slider. So health slider. All right. Um, and let me see. So I want, I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to put it right in the dead center. Uh, dead center bottom. We're going to snap it to the bottom, okay, like that. And then I will push it up. Let's push it up, let's say 50, and that's fine. And then the width and height. So let's make the width 500. Is that good, you think? It's just going to make it how wide, however wide you want to make that health bar. So maybe that's too big, 250. Let's say 250. Uh, and then height, let's do 50. That's too big, I think. Let's do 25. That seems too small, 30. I'm gonna go with 30. Okay, so you can play around with it if you want. Um, the rest of this is fine. We're gonna be using this value. That's how we put the value on here, just so you are aware. And I might need to change something else in here too, but we're gonna use that value uh, eventually. Okay, underneath the house slider, there's actually multiple things. There's the background, and there's the fill area, and then there's this high, uh, slider handle. Let me see, and I think, let me just double check. Delete, yes. So I want you to select the slider handle and delete that. That is the little button. Oops. There you go. And delete it. That's the little button that you see, the little knob that if we were gonna if the user was gonna click on it and drag it, that's the um that's how you would have them do it, is by grabbing that handle. We're not doing that though. We're not actually using it as a slider. I'm using a slider, I'm gonna make it the health bar just to make things a little bit easier. Okay. The background color, I'm gonna click on this and let's just make it uh I wanna make it Let's do, yeah, we're gonna make it red, but I'm gonna take its uh, opacity and let's do about halfway, which should be, what, like 150, is that right? But it's 256, I don't know what it would be. Uh, 136, we'll say, okay? Then we'll go to fill area, um, expand that, go to the fill, take that color and just make that red and just make it bright red, okay? And we're not going to change any. Now, you can change the colors if you want to do a different color health bar. And you can see we're at really low. So what I'm going to do is that was on the fill. I'm going to go back to the health slider. Take this value. Where are you, value? Right. Take the value all the way up. And you can see it's a little bit offset, which is one of the things I needed to fix. I'm trying to remember where that was that I fixed it. It's a, it's a slight offness. So let me see. Is it fill area? It might be the zero. Ah, that was it. So, uh... Uh, because we offset it by 15, I'm going to take this offset of 15 and just type in um, 0. And now, um, so that it's not offset, and now when you go to the health slider here, the, the big one here, I should be able to go all the way from up all the way to nothing. Okay, so there we go. So full range from here to here. All right. Um, to make things a little bit easier, you'll see it has a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of one. Let's make this 100. Uh, that way our health is set to 100 and that way we don't have to convert units. We'll just keep it the same units. That'll make it a little bit easier, I think, for us to work with. So that looks good. Oh, they have whole numbers too. I didn't know that was an option. That's actually even better. Uh, I'm going to turn that off for now. We'll just convert it because I'm not sure if that will work the way I want it to. Okay. Uh, you can see it's left to right. So for some reason you want to do from center or something, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, but yeah, so I think that was everything I needed to put. Oh, I need one other thing. So the other thing I want to do too, and you see this in video games a lot of times, that if you get hit, 
they'll show you on your screen that you got hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a um, a panel over this whole thing. You remember we did that when we did the pause screen where we had like we would gray out kind of the background. I'm going to put like a red color over everything. Okay. So uh, again, I'm going to select this the uh, the main canvas here, the HUD canvas, and then we're going to UI, and then we're going to choose panel. Great. And then I'm just going to select the color of that panel. And let's just go ahead and do red. Oh, actually, red, and then take the opacity down quite a bit, because I don't want it to be like, you know, really like being nuts. So we'll go like that. All right. And that's actually going to change anyway. So but that's just, we're actually going to put it in a color, but just so you see it there. Okay, so good. Um, that looks good. So from here, I'm just going to save it. And now we have all the things we need to basically, I'm just going to try and in the next video, get this HUD uh, part connected. But we have, we should have all the elements at least of that.